Bugatti La Vautre Noir, the world's most expensive car. Bugattis are hyper and super luxurious cars designed for people with exquisite touch for taste and, of course, very deep pockets. When you see somebody cruising in this model of a vehicle, one thing is for sure, money is not one of his or her problems. The latest creation of Bugatti to hit the market is what we can call a road monster. La Vautre Noir is the most expensive car ever to be sold, going for a colossal $18.7 million after tax. The supercar was acquired by an anonymous buyer after its creation in commemoration of the company's 110 years of existence. Join us on a virtual ride aboard this monster piece. I guarantee you some good time. Before we begin, kindly subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our weekly uploads. Let's get it on! When the car made its debut on Pebble Beach Concord d'Elegance in California on the 20th of August 2019, everyone at the show remained hands down perplexed, rightly so, because the car is totally out of this world. Jean Bugatti, the son of the man who founded the company, Ettore Bugatti, designed the car in the 1930s and gave it the name La Vautre Noir. It is among the four Type 57 SC Atlantic Coupes he was working on at the time. The anonymous male buyer, who we can confidently conclude is wealthy, agreed to buy the car even before it was made. Bugatti announced they would be making and selling the custom-made machine every two years, so if you're planning to acquire one, sorry, you have to wait for the next edition. Jean Bugatti designed and made the four cars in 1934. Three of the vehicles have since been accounted for. The fourth one is reported to have been lost during World War II, and experts say were it to be found today, its value would be well over $100 million. So if you're a collector, how about you change your resolutions and start looking for this car? According to the company executives, La Vautre Noir's insane top speed is meant to give it a touring refinement. Devo model was the company's previous limited-run model, but its strength was focused on cornering. Achim Anscheidt, the company's lead designer, described the car as a piece of art. We produced a true one-off, a single-unit car that we call automotive haute couture. It's not just a car anymore. It's really more like a piece of art in line with highly exclusive fashion and luxury brands in France. Bugatti has made its mark in the automobile industry by designing cars for the ultra-wealthy people in society for the past 100 years. In fact, statistically, an average Bugatti buyer owns about 42 other cars, at least five homes, three helicopters, and three private jets, according to a recent market study. So if you want to join the club, you know what to do. Money gives people the urge to be associated with unique things, a factor that the company's management has been able to harness with absolute tact. Carl Brower, an auto trader analyst, noted, When you're wealthy, the thing you want most after your wealth is to feel special and unique. And someone who pays $18 million for a car gets the bragging rights, I bought the most expensive car ever. See how special I am. The body of the car is made from handcrafted carbon fiber. It also features a unique LED brake light strip that makes it seem more comprehensive than it already is. There is a conspicuous logo of Bugatti right in front of it, a clear reminder of the beast you are looking at. The horseshoe grille is more vividly pronounced than ever, with sleek LED headlights extending on the top of wheel arches. It's alleged that Bugatti held a secret auction for Bugatti La Vautre Noir and only allowed its top clientele to bid, while several money-dishing millionaires made it clear they wanted to take to the road on this beast. It's reported that the late Ferdinand Pieck, a well-known Bugatti enthusiast and former chairman of Volkswagen, was the winning bidder. Others also suggested the anonymous buyer could be football superstar and the first footballer ever to become a billionaire, Cristiano Ronaldo. Tim Bravo, the Bugatti spokesperson, said, As soon as a customer makes a public claim, then we can refer to that. But other than that, we will honor our customer's anonymity, and he will decide whether or not he wants to remain anonymous. At least we know it's a he. Anyway, why would someone spend $18 million on a car and prefer to keep it a secret? What a baffling code of secrecy. From the sneak peek through its windows since the car's interior is yet to be shown, the super opulent car appears to have handmade adjustable leather seats, leaving enough legroom for the ridiculous speed expected during the ride. On the side, every other feature is oozing pure class. 
From the brakes to the dashboard and even the steering, with the inverted B logo centrally placed on the steering wheel. Tim Bravo, the company's spokesman, further added, High speed mode was not relevant for these cars because they had a much different focus. The Diva was made for corners, and La Votre Noir is a Gran Turismo. Bugatti is notorious for selling pricey cars. Even after joining Volkswagen back in 1998, they scrapped custom models in favor of mass production, but still focusing on limited supercars. In 2005, they launched the model Veyron and promised to produce only 450 of them. In recent days, they announced to have built 200 out of the proposed 500 of the Chiron model, with one going for a minimum of $3 million. The French supercar manufacturers have totally attained new heights with the production of this new model. The car is designed to provide a premium experience and represents another step in return to ultra-exclusive heritage. The idea of La Voltre Noir was 100% born within Bugatti. It doesn't come from the customer. However, with it being a one-of-one, one, the customer enjoys the freedom to create specific detailing with us," reported Mr. Anscheid. The buyer is also understood to have total design control over the car's interior. They can feel free to have their favorite colors on the seats and custom make everything on the inside with their names. With that kind of price, the customer will definitely be the king. The car's interior is still largely incomplete and still subject to change, depending on what the client wants. As to the interior, we wanted to make sure the customer who decided to buy that car could really create the interior to his own gusto. So our designers are working hand in hand with the customer to make that interior 100% as he wants, said Anscheid. Mr. Hans Wurl, a specialist at classic car auction company Gooding, believes owning a car such as Bugatti La Votre Noir will be a shocker of valuation for car collectors. For collectors, valuing a car like Le Voltre Noir is difficult because it's one of a kind and has never been publicly auctioned before, making it hard to estimate how much someone would pay for it. Bugatti spokesman Mr. Bravo actually believes $18 million is a complete bargain for the car. The motor show held at Pebble Beach attracts the most prestigious cars in the automobile industry, with vehicles selling at exorbitant prices. This new Bugatti brand may be pricey in recent times, but the record sale at the show happened in 2018, when a 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO sold for a jaw-dropping $48.4 million. Auction is not more about car features, we all understand. It's more of sentimental value the car holds. The one-off Bugatti masterpiece was made in dedication to the lost Atlantic. The car is a combination of excellence with breathtaking design, unmatched craftsmanship, and super fast speed, resulting in the final piece being an absolute screamer. Did you know that the Bugatti company has narrowly escaped burning down twice while testing its powerful engines? And also, did you know that on request, Bugatti makers can put one carat diamonds on the speedometer just to make the client feel value for their money? Well, now you know. As for their latest piece of pure artistry, the Bugatti has yet again made their mark in auto car production, stamping their authority as the ultimate luxury car producers. The company has plans to bring to the market at least four more custom-built cars in the near future, with yet another supercar blended between the Devo and La Voltre Noir expected to be launched soon. Supercars are addictive, and as George Best, the celebrated Irish footballer, once confessed, I spent a lot of money on booze, birds, and fast cars. The rest I just squandered. Free advice? Don't take that path if you have questionable financial ability. Did you enjoy our video? Would you spend such an amount of money on a car? Well, if you enjoyed our video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our awesome content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our weekly uploads. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below.